A couple of days ago, you might have seen me review an F Series 328i, and I mentioned that its tuning capacity is a little limited. However, today I'm reviewing a complete contradiction of it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Auto Culture, and this is a Stage 3 F Series 328i, and it's built by possibly one of the most reliable builders in the country. How is that possible? Let's break some myths. Before we talk about all of the mods lurking under the hood, let's talk about the aesthetic changes. It is quite subtle, but there are many. Like the M3 style front bumper, the M3 style grille, the M3 style fender, and you've also got an M3 style rear bumper. You have a twin exhaust at the back, and the ORVMs are M3's ORVMs, not just the cover. It is the entire system, as you can see from this side indicator light. Overall, it is a rather subtle-looking car, but when you add the details, it is a fantastic-looking build. The more you pay attention, the better it looks. Look at the NK wheels; they look so OEM, but they are so striking to look at. They're wrapped around Pirelli P0 rubber, and if you also look inside the wheel, you've got drilled rotors. So the performance upgrade is also there. In terms of suspension, it is sat on. Uh, M performance suspension, so it's now going to be riding a little nicer, and that's pretty much it from the outside. So let's look at what's going on inside the engine. Life is all about growth, and while everybody's rate of growth is different, us car guys have a very specific way of marking milestones in our lives, and that is buying a car for ourselves. Now, why not buy yourself the car that you really want from the people that understand you as a car guy? Imagine you're. Welcoming a new member of the family into your house, you need something practical, smooth, and reliable. Look no further than this 52k run second owner Q3. Possibly, this could be one of the best deals in the Q3 market right now. Or you've just passed your entrance test with flying colors, and dad has told you time to get your car for college. How about this? A one-liter TSI Polo that is ready. For you to put all the mods you want during college, this has only run 32,000 kilometers, making it a very nice deal for a new driver. Now imagine you've finally gotten that promotion after years of work, and it's time to get a brand new jazzy car for yourself. How about this? A VRS 230 with just 38,000 kilometers and in pristine condition. So if you're like me and you define the chapters of your life through the cars that you've owned, look no further than TDH Classifieds. Head on to thedriversup.com/tdhclassifieds and get yourself the car of your dreams. Under what might seem like a rather unassuming engine block lies quite a lot of upgrades. Now there are so many that uh, I might stutter a little bit, so bear with me. It's got upgraded injectors, fuel pumps, high pressure and low pressure, an upgraded turbo, a turbo inlet pipe, charge pipes are also upgraded. You've got upgraded intake ducts and uh, an upgraded air filter. You've also got a Wagner intercooler that is rather large, and even the downpipe is from Wagner. And the rest is a Miltec catback exhaust with twin exits. With all of the upgrades, the power numbers go up to around 340 bhp and 400-ish newton meters of torque, which is A decent bump in BHP, if you ask me, and I'm actually quite excited to see what it feels like. So, without further ado, let's go for a drive. Before we set off, let me shed some light on how nicely has this owner specked the interior of this car. It has carbon fiber all over in the center console, on the gear selector, and even on the running dashboard line. It also has some Alcantara here and there, where your arms and your body really touches it. Which makes it a very nice place to be in. You've also got this M steering wheel, which is so cool. And overall, even the exposed carbon fiber everywhere you touch is just a very special uh, experience, making this feel much more premium than what a 3 series should. And that's really good news because that means I'm going to have some extra fun on my drive. That being said, let's go now. And if you're interested in knowing just how fast this stage 3328i built by Tunotronics is, check this draggy figure out. 
this rear wheel drive 340 horsepower 328i is able to complete the quarter mile in 13.25 seconds at 179 kilometers per hour that looks to be absolutely rapid Now remember when I said 340 bhp, that's all to the wheels on a 95 octane map and let's be completely honest, this is now a 100 bhp upgrade so you're definitely going to feel it and this new turbo, the way it spools is so much different to the way the older stock turbo spooled. So now most of that power is up top and weirdly it doesn't have massive duality to it. You go through the range and it still surges in a linear manner. Uh, that's because of the way the car has been tuned. Before the twin scroll turbo also had that same small amount of boost in the beginning and then uh, the gradual power at the end making it feel quite NA like. And that's the same characteristic that this turbo is actually uh, displaying because if it doesn't have that amount, if all of that power is sent down to the bottom of the rev range this engine is really not going to like it and it's going to be quite detrimental for uh, all of the moving parts of your engine which you really don't want especially in an engine that already has that little bit of a uh, reputation like that now the owner has told me that the parts that needed to be changed for the timing belt was basically one singular part and he's actually done that and even in the steering rack there used to be a clicking noise that was an issue that BMW actually knew and they also updated that part and I think now the steering feel has changed too so it is much more direct and in fact changing lanes is basically a millimeters or an inches uh, input in the steering wheel making this such a direct car to drive talking about the power it is rather intoxicating as you'd expect a BMW to feel like and this TCU tune along with the ECU tune makes it so much more snappy that rowing through the gears makes it such an enjoyable experience. One good thing about this car is that those brakes really help in the dissipation of heat with the uh, drills. So braking hard is actually much easier and much more consistent so you don't have to worry about fade all of the time. This car has become so much more enjoyable. In fact, with 340-ish wheel horsepower, it's kind of knocking at the door of an M340i and that's actually high praise for an N20. After speaking to the owner for a while, I uh, was actually very surprised at hearing the IAT figures of this car. The internal temperatures run maybe 20 degrees above ambient, which is very impressive, especially for a car that was notorious for having heat problems and heat soaking issues. So this car can basically push and push and push to your heart's content without having any form of drop in performance making this so much more impressive too and basically breaking the myths of this N20 being something that doesn't have a lot of potential because I mean 100 bhp from a stage 3 that costs maybe 3 to 5 lakh rupees is a very very good proposition and after speaking to the boys at TOT they really assured me that with the right engineering and the right thought process, you can pretty much make any car go fast as long as you do 
your research properly and this is basically proof of that the owner has done around 50 60000 kilometers in stage 3 and it's running perfectly fine with no issues and that is so impressive if you ask me Now let's say you want to build a similarly done up F33 to 8i. Prices for the F33 to 8i's in the used market according to our research by our TDH classifieds is anywhere between 11 to 15 lakhs. Then add another 6 lakhs on top for modifications just like this particular example and you've got yourself a super fun rear wheel drive car that can be used as a daily driver and the perfect weekend hooner. I for one I'm very happy with uh, the way this car drives and of course and i am also as surprised as you guys because i have never seen a build like this and thanks to tot for letting me uh, drive this car and thank you vaishak for letting me drive your car because i am very 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 impressed i don't know how many times i'm going to say that thank you so much for watching if you have any thoughts or any questions regarding this stage 3328i don't hesitate shoot the questions in the comment section and we'll be there to answer them thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next one